Hey folks, it's Denver here with Feel Free Kayaks and today we're going to be doing the installation of the overdrive system. Okay, start by removing the sonar pod and small plastic button. Also remove the sonar pod clamp. Next, put your template into place. I recommend marking with a marker and then checking the plastic plate with the boat bucket in place to make sure there's no sloppiness. Once you check to make sure the template and plate line up perfectly, then drill your holes. Now we will install the boat bucket lock. For a perfect fit, make sure to add the included shims. If you're having any looseness horizontally, that can be adjusted with the grub screws. So what we're gonna do is pull this out of here and show you where the grub screws are. And these two grub screws are located right on the top of the bucket here. There's two of them, one on each side. Screw those out with an Allen key for a tighter fit. At this point, we're gonna insert the overdrive system and install the pedals and the arm brackets for the pedals. If you experience any sloppiness vertically, simply tighten the bumpers one on each side of the unit. Now the overdrive has been successfully installed. To remove the overdrive, you're going to pull out the two orange pieces on each side and twist them into the lock position. Next, push down the orange center piece and hold. Then turn the pedals until they click. That's going to put the propeller into a vertical position so you can remove the overdrive. If your kayak currently has a rudder, start by simply cutting the cable and removing your foot pegs, making sure to leave plenty of cable towards the front of the kayak. Now we're gonna insert the polyethylene bushing. Fit the rudder to the back of the kayak. Now we're gonna run our cables through the rudder tubes. After running your rudder cables, we're gonna wanna put in the uphaul cord. Now that the uphaul cord is in place, we're gonna attach the clamp cleat. This is the part that holds your rudder in the up position. Start by taking apart the hand control system. Now we're going to install the back plate to the hand control. Measure four inches from where the cable comes out of the kayak. Mark your spot, drill, and then screw into place. It is important to make sure that the rudder is tight to the right hand side of the kayak. Now measure 16 inches from the same point where the cable comes out of the kayak. Mark your spot, drill a hole, and screw into place. This is where the plastic button with the crimped cable is going to be attached. Start by putting the bottom pulley into place, then slide the top pulley into position. Make sure your cables are in place on both sides. Next, install the face plate and handle. From the other side of the kayak, measure 16 inches from where the rudder cable comes out of the kayak. Mark your spot, drill, and screw the button into place. Now we're going to install the bungee pole. 
Make sure the rudder is on tight against the left hand side of the kayak. Measure a half an inch from where the cable comes out of the kayak. Position both the bungee cord and rudder cable in the bungee pool clamp and screw together tightly. Make sure the cables are straight inside the clamp. Line the rudder cable through the center of the bungee pool and then install the crimp on the end of your cable. Screw together tightly. Make sure the cables are straight inside the clamp. And finally, stretch the bungee pull around the plastic button. Add the two foam supports with double-sided tape to the bottom of the seat adjuster. Now remove these four foam pieces with needle nose pliers. Then remove the four deck screws. To attach the seat straps, use the four screws that you removed along with the four plastic washers provided. Now we're going to install the seat adjuster. We're going to start by inserting the threaded inserts into the back of the seat. Now we're going to attach the seat adjuster by attaching it to the back of the seat by bolting it into place. Now we're going to attach the seat adjuster to the kayak. Now that the seat's locked into place, we're going to run the straps over the front side of the seat, making sure that they're tight and securely in place. Hey folks, so thanks for listening. I hope the video really helped you out. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to give us a holler. Thanks and have a good one.